Tis the season for nose sprays and eye drops. It does seem worse this year. A lot of complaints. My husband has it, has allergies, and I just think, God, did I luck out because I don't have to deal with it every day. I would say over the past week, we've had a large number of patients come in looking for allergy medicines. William McCormick, manager at Elliott Pharmacy, says the pollen count is high right now. This is probably one of the worst years that um, we've had in the past several years. Uh, I mean, just based on the number of people coming in with red watery eyes and that dry cough. There is relief though. McCormick says medications are helpful, but finding the right one depends on your symptoms. A combination of different allergy medicines is usually helpful, starting with an antihistamine, uh, something like loratadine or cetirizine is usually helpful. Some type of lubricant eye drop would be helpful if you have watery eyes. In the meantime, McCormick says people suffering will have to wait a few weeks. If someone's struggling with allergies, I think your pharmacist is a great resource. Go into your pharmacy and ask them their advice. Um, contacting your provider might be helpful as well. All right, let's bring in meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas. Jackie, <laughs> those are the conditions. We were just oh, saying, that doesn't boy. look great. If no. you're suffering, like I'm suffering, yeah, if you're suffering. I've been sniffling like all that. day. You can probably hear it oh. a little bit. I've been sneezing. Uh, I've got the itchy throat, the itchy eyes. So full-blown allergy conditions here. And you'll notice the allergy forecast really doesn't improve much over the coming days. We're going to be in that high to very high category for allergens in the air. So definitely something that you want to prepare for if you suffer from seasonal allergies. The predominant allergens right now for our area are oak, birch and ash. And as far as the allergy forecast goes, you get higher pollen in the air when you have dry conditions and warmer temperatures and sunny days, all things that we've seen over the last few days and even a little bit of a breeze can help carry those pollens and allergens through the air. So certainly something that uh, we've seen and unfortunately we're going to continue to see here as we head through the next few days, just that time of year. So have the box of tissues handy.